to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. Yeah. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Crazy Jaws, representing Pump Chaser. So guys, about to go up ahead and train a Metro Flex. And about to get a chest and trice workout with a good friend, Kelly Burke, guys. Decided to go ahead and pull the camera out and record, to be 100% honest with you. I didn't even plan on recording today, but I was like, you know what, fuck it, guys. I want to record a little more frequently. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling whole ready. So fuck it, let's go ahead and get the camera going. Hopefully we can send some good vibes your way. Hopefully we can send some inspiration and motivation you guys' way. Now keep in mind, guys, I've been cutting. So my strength isn't where it usually is when I'm bulking or when I'm maintaining, okay? So I'm focused really on getting quality reps, going heavy enough to where it's challenging, and really giving my muscles some stress. That way, as I'm getting leaner, I don't lose any muscle, okay? Keep that in mind. I'm focused purely on my muscle connection, getting me a great pump, stressing my muscles, and getting the fuck up out of here. And of course, high volume. I've been preaching high volume since I've been on YouTube, and I'm gonna continue to preach high volume. High fucking volume. Let's get it. All right, fam. So before we get started, Kelly Burke is on his way. She'll be here very soon. Go ahead and take my pumping ground pre-workout, doing a full scoop, guys. Full scoop is gonna give me what I need to push through, all right? Let's get it. Squeeze! Squeeze! Now you see a guy with paws and really bringing them deep. Deep, hard line, hard, deep. Come on. Uh, come on. Already know, guys. Get your wrist wraps. 10% off cold. Pumped in. Protect your wrist, children. Bam. All right, homies and home mats. You already know. Full routine written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. So as you see, we started off with peg flies to get a nice pump in the chest. That way, when you're doing movements like the bench press, you know, hammer strength press, dumbbell, I notice you feel every rip a whole lot more when the muscle is full of blood, okay? As you see, control of the negative, you know, I treat one plate like it's two plates, you know? They say if you lift lightweight like it's heavy, you'll eventually lift heavyweight like it's light, you know? So here we are, 185. This is what I typically stick with for most of my sets. Just a good weight that I can feel. It'll give me a good contraction. And if I'm still feeling good after about four sets, I'll go ahead and do five or six sets with heavier weight. You know, like I said, when I'm cutting, I'm just about doing enough to keep my size. You're not really gonna put on a whole bunch of size, really, if any, in a calorie deficit. You know, you're not eating enough to grow. You'll be lucky just to maintain your muscle. You know, so that's what I'm doing. Keeping the muscle hard, keeping it active. So as I strip weight week after week, I'm still maintaining my muscle. Guys, you know, not knocking people, but the old school movements, guys, where you gotta stabilize and use your mind muscle connection, not letting the machine do all the work. I'm telling you guys, you're missing out on some quality gains. But your little science buddies, they ain't gonna tell you that. So, let's go. Let's get it, baby. Here we go. Okay, Chris. Come on, show them how to get some muscle, boy. You ain't new to this, you true to this, come on. Stretch, hold it, get that stretch, then back up, bam. Yes, sir. Hold it, stretch, then back up. Yep, come on, buddy. Hold it, stretch, up. All day. Yep, come on. The philosophy of beast mode, let's get it. Yep. Come on, stretch. Come on, boy. Squeeze. Yeah. 
40 years old, man. I've been in the game a long time. Half of y'all won't make it past 27. Because if your heart and your mind ain't in it, you aren't in it. People think it's all physical, man. Anybody can die, anybody can go in the gym and train, but if your mind isn't dedicated to doing this for the rest of your life, I swear you're gonna fall off. How many people you know fell off, Chris? Man, countless, man. How many people you know started on YouTube and then fell off and they don't even work out no more? Countless, Come countless. on, man, you gotta keep going, man. Get your heart in it, man, I'm telling you. That's the only thing that's gonna push you through. Let's eat, baby. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh! Deep squeeze, guys, deep squeeze. Boys, I heard that working out for you too, Chris. Man, I was doing it before I see you. Oh, let me do this in real life. Man, for real. Come on. Ah. Good squeeze. Y'all see it? Big stretch, good squeeze. Ah. All right, so as you see, we just got done doing some dumbbell flies. And yeah, I see a lot of videos, mostly on Instagram, of people talking shit about dumbbells. You know, when it comes to dumbbell flies, they, they prefer cables and shit. Look, dumbbells are great too. The thing about dumbbells is, you gotta have a, I'm talking like a, like they have black belt in karate, you gotta have like a black belt in mind muscle connection. You know, those are one of the movements you gotta have a damn good mind muscle connection to really benefit from, or else you just hurt your shoulders, you know? But anyway guys, so here we are. We did the flat press, and now we're finishing off with dips. Really getting a good stretch in the bottom. Really getting a good squeeze on top. Dips, another movement right here. You gotta have a real good mind-muscle connection to really feel it in your chest, you know? A lot of people don't realize there's a, a, a huge, a huge mental aspect of bodybuilding. And just like Einstein said, he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. That goes for bodybuilding too. You really gotta have a good imagination you gotta be really in tune with your body if you wanna achieve that like black belt and mind muscle connection. And not only will a good mind muscle connection help you get a better contraction on the muscles, you'll eventually notice you don't have to go as heavy as you think to get a great workout. Now, I'm not telling you to go to the gym lifting pink dumbbells or no shit like that. All I'm saying is you don't have to go as heavy as you think. When you really cut that momentum out, and you go from weight lifting to resistance training, it's a whole different vibe. You're gonna feel your muscles stressed in different ways that you've never felt before. Once you take the ego out, and that's what I'm still working on. You know, my form is still not perfect. It's damn good, but I want that perfection. And you gotta keep doing shit over and over and over and over again. You gotta program your subconscious to the point where you're an autopilot till you can't get it wrong. Don't just practice till you get it perfect. Keep practicing until you can't get it wrong. Let's get it. The beast is hungry. All right, homies and home man. Post workout meal. Cause shit just got real. You see what I got? Two grilled chicken breasts. A New York street with that lemon butter to the side. What you got, Kevin? All right, man. I got a New York strip as well. Medium well. I got some asparagus right here, and I got me some uh, salmon on the side. Great workout, by the way, guys. Been doing Kelly for a while, man. Yes, sir. Man. Be looking out for him very soon. We got some things coming. Just tell me where they can find you, brother. Yes, sir. Instagram is uh, Kelly R Burke. Uh, YouTube is KRB Fitness and Facebook Kelly R. Burke as well. There it is, you guys. Tap in, man. Yeah. Tap in with my brother. Thank you guys for your support, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. I'll be back, back at your boy. <laughs>